something different. Okay, okay. Hey, okay. You okay. 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 Wait, what? What did you just say? Like they just dropped you off and they got you high? They're, they're doing, they're doing tests, tra stuff of training. Can I do it? As long as you're 18 and over. I can go over there with them right now. Yeah, go. Well, help me, like leave me. Go. City of Mora, Kennebec County. Where is that? Is that? I've, I've never heard of that. And then the cop just leaves right with him. They come into downtown, nigga. Oh, they basically pick up yes, people. Pick up random people on the street. Ask them about the drug evaluation. So they're getting, the sheriff's getting people to do drugs and then dropping them off back here at PD Plaza. Yeah. yeah. And what county is that? Says Kennebec. Yeah, they give you free Thanks. shit. They right down the dance. And they send you back to no, Occupy. No, they, no. Let you, they let you smoke. They let you smoke. They, 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 you back to they let you smoke the shit, and then you smoke it right in front of them. They won't say shit. I do. And they'll be like, five five years years old. thank you. But like, like, you like to be. Dude. They, when we went up there, it's like 25. It's like basically all the um, police officers in a in a building out in Richfield, basically saying, basically it's a, by the airport. It's a training process. For, they pick up people who's already yeah. under the influence of weed, everything else that people smoke nowadays. But if you're already under the influence, they will pick you up and take you out there to give you some more of it to see how well your abilities work to see if you can stand to make it easier for them. They give you food or they'll do they cigarettes hey. or you know they'll, you they'll, they'll give you the know. drugs for free. Can I interview you about this you, your face? You, are you talking yeah. about the two cops? Not necessarily but yes. No, we were just, yeah. They give it to you just to you. You do it in front of them yes. and that's it. And that's it. Like you already have to have it? No, they give it to you but you use it in front of them and that's it. Like what kind of drugs? Like weed? What else? Weed, anything but right now they're not trying to do too many stoners because they have quite a few of them. So they have weed. They're looking for hard drugs. But what other harder drugs do you think that From is? crack to cocaine to heroin and do they and have, to when they get you, do they ask what drugs your drug is? They right? talk to you before they even make a decision. Okay. Here on the yeah. street? Anywhere on the streets. I mean, they're not just doing this spot. They're doing a lot of other places. And you have to be currently yes. under the influence. Yep. And then they take you and they might just test you or they might actually let yep. you use more. It, yep. It's is what you're it, saying? Yep. Picking people up right now, like they just pulled up here. Really? Yeah. Oh, I keep going. Thanks. Hello. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? Good. Do I have to? Okay. What we're doing is emails. We are very tall people. We do it with those people that are willing to come after they've done something. In this category, we're just doing emails. We don't want people's names. We don't want to get anybody in trouble. We're here just to do some emails. So, like I said, if you could smoke weed or, or something like that, we don't care. We really don't. But we, what we want to do is just thank you for about 45 minutes of testing, but we got to go down by the airport. So it takes, you know, 10 minutes drive down there, 15 minutes. We do run 45 minutes of testing. We bring you right back, drop you right back off. So that's that's what we're doing. 
And like I said, we're, like I'm not even from here. I'm from Fillmore County, so I'm way south of Rochester. They came up to me and asked, like, where it was from. One from Wisconsin, one from North Philadelphia. Yeah. And that, that should be right there. That was kind of sketchy for me. I'm like, okay, why are you coming from over there or coming here? They're like, we're doing a drug evaluation to see what the side effects of, like, the drug you are, you're using. We'll buy you a couple packs of smokes or whatever after you're done. They asked me what my drug of choice was, I said weed. And then they're like, okay, what? Well, people, one of them told me I'm looking for something more harder, someone to do mental health and stuff like that. I've never told a cop this before, but I said, fuck you. <laughs> I don't touch that, I'll touch weed and that's it. No cameras. Yeah, no. There is cameras. D, no cameras. There is cameras. D, I'm telling you. You can't do that. You can't do that. This is the salt, dude. Like, back up. <laughs> like. State troopers from Dakota County. All right, I'll turn it off. But look, like, what are they doing? Like, can you just tell me, like, what what are they doing? Like, okay. Stealing my soul. Sure, sure, sure. Let me just um. some other stuff so sorry if you could turn that off and yeah not you, even face it towards us i'd really appreciate it okay yeah. like i said my my family's been threatened and me my life so i really don't want to be on anything okay? sure i apologize that's, that's the only reason i want it off Otherwise, i'll make sure I, any video i have your face is not on there well the thing is like i said i i really don't care what you guys are doing up here i'm not from up here okay so more power to you okay but we're up here for a class okay and I, we don't need to get in trouble for anything Understand? Yep. That's the thing. We're we're not having people doing it in front of us okay, or anything like see, that. That's what I. Somebody see another cop that I did it with the other day. He asked me what I use, right? And yeah, I told that's, him that we're we're picking up people who already used. Well, here's here's why I'm just trying to bring some attention to it. Guess at this point, it's like there are officers that are giving people marijuana uh, to smoke. Well, that's not true. No, it is because I did it. Don't complete. I'm not a liar. That's okay, true well, because it, I sat in the back of. 
the state trooper car and handed me an evidence bag, you know, with the uh, red sticky and everything, handed me that through the top of the bars, and while he was driving, he had me roll him up. Well, I'm telling but, you that personally, okay. I don't do that. I'm sure you don't. Yeah. Um, whether or not other officers were doing that, that type, of, type of stuff, yeah. I, I don't condone that. Okay. So that's my direct cell phone number okay. on down there. So like I said, on Thursday we're going to be here from like 3 to 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. Okay. So call me between the, that time on Thursday and then I'll be able to pick you up and I'll bring you over to where we're doing the evaluation and I'll bring you back to wherever you need to go. Okay. Okay? Alright, can I ask one question? Sure. Because I was in there. Um, why is it that um, there are no EMT or any kind of medical uh, personnel? Because, um, you know, if you brought somebody in who was high on heroin and they just did it, and they end up, you know... We have, we have, we have officers that are EMTs that are there. Okay. So, I mean, I know officers are, you know, especially state troopers sure. or sheriffs are, you know, EMT trained, but I guess I was just kind of wondering why there are no health personnel, you know, on site while... Because you know, there's nobody overseeing the overseers, you know, the sheriffs and stuff. Um, sure. So, yeah. what if you know they're looking at their pupils? But a, a if EMT we d if we determine that there is a medical issue, then we get the medical attention. medical personnel at any of the facilities where this is being done? Everything that we do is completely validated. Okay. It's being run by the Sounds state good. patrol? Yep. Oh. Okay, Department who's, of Public who's the officer? Safety. Okay, Department of Public Safety. Who's the officer in charge? Why do I have to tell you that? Who are because you? Because you're spending our tax dollars. Who are you? Who are you? Well, he's a citizen. Right? And, like and a Jacobson from the Olmstead right, County. Right, I know. Yeah. Sir, so and Jacobson from the Olmstead County Sheriff's mm -hmm. Department. I, I, okay. I've talked with so, Adam before. Yeah. We need to know who's running this program and whether or not adequate medical you. or ethical safeguards yeah. have been put in. The, so yeah. it's the state patrol, but you can't tell me the name of the officer running the program? The coordinator for the state, his name is Rick Munoz. He's a sergeant with the state patrol. Okay. It's called the, it's, it's called the DRE program. DRE? You can look it up, Drug Recognition Evaluator. Okay. Yep, you can look it up on the internet. It's actually a national program. Okay. There we do. Yep. And there actually are medical personnel available when this is going on? Yes. Yep. Okay, where, where do those medical personnel work? Where do they work? Yeah, where are they with? Well, we're stationed out of Richfield, so it'd be the nearest ambulance service. Richfield. Yep. Okay. So next to the airport. Okay. West side what's, of the airport. What's the facility where this is being done at the airport? Cars. The airport. It's the Department Damn. of Transportation. Why? Right. Okay. We just look for a garage. It's it's a bit just a big garage. Is all it is. Okay. It's where we can just do our, the testing. Simple. These officers, like over here, we're just saying that they they're not giving away drugs, but all of you have participated in this program. And yeah. We all have. They gave you. My friends have. They gave you drugs, or yeah, you, they, they all told me that they were giving people yeah. drugs and getting yeah. them high. Okay. Select drugs. Getting, and it, I think, yeah, I think we talked to both of you yesterday, and you were saying that they gave you pot. She, she, was, there. Yeah. she was there too. Had, she came after we. After and and you were not already intoxicated in any way when they picked you up. Okay. They gave, they gave, they gave, us a bowl. They gave you a bowl and some pot to smoke. Yes. It was packed. It was packed. It was already packed for you. Okay. <laughs> was like, oh, hey, look, look what I found. No, 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 no. Did you, did you ever get the feeling like? This might be laced with something, or that there's something no, more no, no, sinister going on. What they, what they told us when I went, when me and my yes, friends went, they people. said basically <laughs> it's just part of a training process. Basically, that's all it 
this. Okay. Just make sure that they make you a uh, urine sample, basically all the other shit. Just like you were gonna do it like a traffic Like stop. if you were dealing like with the probation officer. Yeah, like you have UAs and all that shit, basically. Yeah. I just realized those two were not messed up at all. Yeah, man, I'm so fucking high right now. Yeah, so like, tell us the story. Like, so what happened? Like, you guys, like, the last thing we saw was you gave us a thumbs up. They didn't give us a test. They didn't test us this time. They just smoked us up this time. Where did they take you? What, like, what happened? They took us to the same place in Richfield. Whoa, right by the Stop. airport. Eh? Yeah, right near the airport. Yup. And they were gonna do the test, but you know, like, because of you guys, we couldn't do the test because you like you guys were giving them trouble and shit. But they still smoked us up though. <laughs> And then they gave me a ball too, and we smoked out of them forever. Wow. For like a whole hour. Was <laughs> it straight? Was they it? It was a whole bag of weed. And then we smoked it all up. <laughs> like the entire fucking. Like, yeah. Like, holy I got shit. half. He got half. <laughs> Huh? They definitely don't like you. They thought I was fucking you. Now I see why. Because I was a good hat, you the green bread, but I don't care. <laughs> Fuck. They didn't let me in there because they thought I was you. <laughs> really? What'd they say? Like, you were recording. It's like, no, that's the little fucker that was uh, recording on there. I was like, no, it wasn't. It wasn't me. So they're asking the way back, like, if I knew anything about you guys. like Say what? Like, if I knew anything about you guys, like, what you're trying to do and shit. Oh, they asked? You, you seem a lot more I incoherent than when I saw oh. you before they like took you and took you somewhere. Is that, is that right? Like, a, yeah. would that be a fair assumption? No, can you? No, I mean I'm not even. Yes. <laughs> that would be a fair assumption. He was like high on methadone or something when he went. Yeah, and before then they, he came. Yeah. Before yeah, but then yep. you, they, they ended up giving you guys like <laughs> a whole black box or something full of yep. weed and pipes. Weed pipes and lighters and uh, pepper. I mean, no grinders. You know the weed breakdowners and then glass bowls. Yep, and all that shit. And they gave me a big ass bowl. Mm -hmm. That shit. Come on, yeah, you signed too, right? And then, uh, they only no, gave they let us smoke like ten bowls or twelve. It's because they seized it off. We smoked the whole bag full. And so, how long were you guys <laughs> gone uh, with the police? Doing that. Like about two hours, man. Two hours. Two hours. So you oh. spent just two hours smoking uh, weed in front of a whole bunch of police. Probably about an hour, and then the other hour was time to get out there and back, and like just time to talk to the police. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you guys go to the same location? Like, like yeah, we went to the same location, but we didn't take the test. So. All right. And why wouldn't they let you take the test? Because of these. Because of you. Because of the guy here videotaping with him. Yeah. Now we would have like. I don't know, have a plan with them or something, just to get blackball the police something and do something, you know. So they wouldn't let you do the test, but they gave you a whole bunch of weed to smoke, and then they just dropped you back off here? Yeah. <laughs> Lucky. You're high as fuck right now, right? <laughs> You know it, motherfucker! Did they drop you off, you off again? Where they was dropped us off over on LaSalle and 12th, right up there, just one block away, because they knew they were on to you guys, you know, and stuff, because they knew they were going to get blackballed you by you guys, you know, and, you know. So they, they were already on to you guys, they didn't want to get caught. They seeing us get out of the car. Shit. Wow, so they thought we were going to be there getting footage of you guys getting out of the car all yep. fucked up and then... Yeah. Uh, did they ask you any questions about like Occupy or anything or any like specific yeah, person? Yeah, they said like, what are you guys actually really doing down there and stuff and what's going on? Like, you know, they want to know all about it and stuff. I'm not one of the main people in charge, but...
Oh, did you tell them that? Hmm? Did you tell them that? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I told them all did, that. So they, do they know who the car? No. Like, what, what were the questions that they were asking about the video people that were there earlier today? Like, if I was with them and, like, like if I was with you guys and stuff, and, like, oh, since, like, since those guys were with you, you can't do this because those guys, like, we don't like those, or they didn't like you guys or something. Like, what, you were all the media and shit, you know? And what did they think we were doing? Trying to get, get them, you know, caught and stuff so that you can blackmail them or get them fired or something, you know? Like... For corrupted cops, you know, corrupted cops. We know that they're giving you drugs. Is that like? Yeah. Is that about it? Yeah, they don't want that. Yeah, yeah. They, see, that's why. Oh, they asked. What? Oh, what did you tell them? So, I don't know. <laughs> so the journalists. So like, how long did they ask you questions about like who we were and like what we were doing? An hour? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I got stoned with a couple cops. You got stoned with a couple cops? I'm high as fuck. You're high as fuck, and this all happened in front of the police officers? Yeah. So where did this originally happen? Well, I was walking down Nickel Hall. He smelled like marijuana, so I started walking a little bit faster. And they asked me how much I had to smoke. I'm all here. They didn't answer anything. And then they asked me if I wanted to smoke more and just stopped me on my tracks. Like, yes. <laughs> and then what? And then I smoked with the cop. How did they? How did they insinu How did they go about asking you to come with them? They were like, "Did you come with us for doing a research on people who are under the influence of marijuana?" And this was Hennepin County. This or, is this uh, sheriffs or cops? Sheriffs from a different county. Sheriffs from a different county brought you to the first precinct of Minneapolis, Hennepin County. And you smoked so weed inside of Hennepin County precinct. And so when they were bringing you there, did they handcuff you? Did they tell you anything? Did they give you any rights or anything? Did they take your name? Well, no, they didn't do take my name. They didn't ask for anything. They didn't ask for anything? No. They just wanted to see... They, what did they say they wanted to get from you? They wanted to get information. What kind of information? Like how people act under the influence of street drugs. In this case, marijuana. So they knew that you had already smoked, and yet they provided more weed for you to smoke. Oh yeah. Was it was it high high grade weed? Dude, this is some of the best shit I've had. Like now I now I know what happens to stuff they confiscate. Uh, they bought me dinner. They bought you dinner from where? Like McDonald's. McDonald's. They brought you to McDonald's and bought you it. Did the drive through or did you go in? Drive through. Drive through. Where were you sitting in the car? In the back. In the back. Was there two officers or one? Two. Two. What kind of uh, what kind of meal did you get? You remember what else? I got a double cheeseburger. Double cheeseburger. Uh, Drop me off back on Nicollet Mall on night. Back on Nicollet Mall on Ninth Street. Uh -huh. Across from the Target. What did they say when they were driving you back after you got your meal? Or you were just sitting there eating? And I was just sitting there eating. They weren't talking to you? Not really. Did they keep notes? Did they write notes on anything? What did How they... fast I ate my meal. Really? What else? How I reacted to having food in my hand. Interesting. Just to see how people act with the munchies. Did they offer you any extra drinks when you were smoking? Water. Water? Did they offer you money? No. Did they say, come back and do this again? Well, they invited me to. They invited you to? How would you get a hold of them? I um, started running to. Interesting. Are you thinking about doing it again? Maybe one day. One day? And they were writing about like maybe the what they were giving you, yeah. the drugs they were giving you. Wow. Did they did they provide a lighter? Nope. You had your own lighter. I don't like using other people. Did they offer you cigarettes or anything? I wanted to, but I was. They had them with them. Yeah. They said, "Here, you want a cigarette? What kind of pack was it?" It was a pack of Marlboro Blacks. Really? And you didn't you didn't want one? No. Why not? Because at that time it was feeling a little sketchy.
test, like a little test, you know, to see like how we are when we're high. Like they checked our eyes, checked our ears, checked our lungs. Did well, they have medical our... personnel doing these tests, or was it the police forced police, themselves? Police forced themselves. Okay. Yep. And they checked our blood pressure, pulse, all that. Was there a lot of police officers there? Yeah, there were a lot. There were like 30, 40. 30 or 40 that were just observing these tests being done? Well, the rest of them were like in the office. There were like 10 of them, 10 police officers doing the test. Did they ever, like, have you sign any waivers about doing no, this? None. And They just told me, like, what's your name and, like, how old, and then they give up a fake name, you know, a fake age, fake birth date, all that info, you know. Okay. You weren't uncomfortable? Was... No. Okay. I mean... No, not really. They never asked to search me, so no. And they didn't search my bag either, so I was good. Okay. Well, if they would have asked to do that, I would have been a little uncomfortable. Um, pretty much state trooper and a other officer from a uh, similar county. I had asked if I, you know, participate in street drug use. And uh, I told him yes, that I do partake in heroin, I do partake in smoking. And uh, he said, well, I don't have any, you know, H, but... I get, if you have the opportunity to smoke some marijuana, would you? I said, okay, yeah, fine. So they took me, you know, they gave me, they picked me up in the car and uh, get, handed me a bag of weed and said, go ahead and roll it, roll it nice and fat. Why don't you get nice and high, nice and high is what they said. And um, after that, uh, you know, they dropped me off at the river and I smoked, and I smoked two joints that they had given me and uh, got back in the car, went to a Minnesota Department of Transportation garage, um, did all these different sobriety field tests, like balance tests, eye tests, stuff like that, and then they bought me two packs of smokes, a sandwich, and let me go. Yeah, there wasn't any doctors, no EMTs, there wasn't even an ambulance on site. Um, it was just police force. It was just police force and Minnesota DOT, you know, trucks, like the DID program and looking kind of thing. Um, how many people? Um, yeah, people do a K2. Uh, you know, the spice, the uh, illegal stuff, that synthetic. Um, they have people drinking, drinking and smoking. Um, just pretty much anything. Um, they told me uh, I was supposed to go to the methadone clinic. They told me when I do my methadone uh, to come come there, um, call them. They told me that uh, you can't get, well, one officer told me that he can't give me money to go get the drugs, but if I were to come up with the money, in the end, he would pretty much reimburse me. For it. So like ten dollars in the end instead of smokes, to give me ten dollars cash because it's out of their pocket that they're doing all this, mm -hmm. which is kind of weird. Um, yeah, there was there was you know Big Lake, Ham Lake, Rochester, every every kind of all these cops there. So to me, it was, just kind was of, it was mostly just, sheriff departments? Like, no, it was state troopers, sheriff uniforms, are sheriff the same as state troopers. And, and state troopers. You know, they all got the light brown. So if you're not paying attention, you're going to see sheriff. But they were mostly state troopers and cops. There were some sheriffs that are overseeing, you know, watching the training. But it was state troopers, also. I mean, yeah, yeah. They they asked me what I did. They asked if I was under the influence of anything. I said no. I let him know, yeah, I do heroin. He said, well, we don't have, one officer said, well, I don't have any heroin, but if you do have it, and you do do it, or you need somewhere safe to do it, or whatever, give us a call, and we would like to do the evaluation. And the other officer said, well, hold on, and then we had re propose something. If you had any marijuana to smoke, would you do this? And I said, yeah. And um, that's where it went. We went into a squad car that was down the block, we came up the block, pulled around, and I got in it. He had me a bag over the window. I rolled two fat joints. So he, so the officer gave you yes. the... Yes. Okay. He gave me the marijuana. It's funny because he told me to hold it down underneath the window. So the public, I wow, look like so I'm hanging with my head. acting like a drug dealer. Pretty much. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he, you know, it was funny because I was sitting, you know, with my head down and my arms down. So the public looks like I'm arrested. But in reality, I'm rolling two joints in the back of a cop car. Like, uh, I was laughing. Wow. wow. I was a and they just no all EMTs, they did, all they did, they whatsoever. just took him to the back room. I mean, his heart rate was up. They didn't know how to check it all, right? But they're not EMTs, so you know they checked his heart rate and everything. It was all up. His heart rate was really fast. Blood pressure was high, and he was freaking out, you know, bugging out. And uh, they just took him in the back room for like ten minutes, and then let him chill out for a second. It came back, and then at some points I hear them in the back room, you know, and they come back and they're like nothing, and like nothing yet. Now I don't know what that means, but he smoked a lot of that stuff. I mean, I looked at this one guy, and everybody in the whole joint at that point had been just smoking pot. So obviously, they didn't find anybody underneath the influence already, so they got them high. 
something. You know what I mean? They needed something. I don't know what's up with that, but you know, it's it's been going on for three weeks. So yeah. I'm going to be doing it for another three weeks. Did, did you see any DEA? Did you see anybody that looked no, like they weren't they were, state? They were like drug, like DRE or some shit, like you know, drug <laughs> reinforcement or something like that. They didn't it ever do any like chemical tests of your blood. It's like, like a urine test. They, they did. They didn't even show me that. Yes, they have they, been picking people up. And if there's no room in the overflow in the jail, they will bring in the PD Plaza. They'll also give them the choice, especially drunks. They will say, do you want to go to jail or PD Plaza? I've heard that been said. So, would you like to, would you like to partake in this research that we're doing? It's like, uh, not really. But there's a compensation for it. He so, said, yeah, we'll give you more. Uh, We'll give you more marijuana. We'll buy you a pack of cigarettes and take you out to lunch. They said, uh, we know who you are. We know that you're Panda and that you're deep into the Occupy movement. And it was like, I was like, dang, am I that infamous in the system? They would give me a, a quarter more of uh, marijuana and if I said I would become a reformer. Me being the devious bastard that I am, I said, sure. And I reneged as soon as I got out of the cop car on Nicolette and Night. They didn't really mention too much of what they wanted to know. They said that they would contact me with the time train. Did, did you ever have any like worries that like maybe the herb they were giving you or whatever you were smoking was maybe like in some way like laced, painted, laced, you know? I never got the I never got the chance to pack it myself, so I never got a chance to inspect it. Oh, so, so the the police packed, packed the bowl, the bowl of weed for, for you and yes. handed it to you. Yes. And they packed you repeatedly, like four bowls back to back. Really? To back, to back. And you never really saw what they had that they were getting this right. drug that you were smoking from? Right. Okay. It's all coming out of the glove box and into my bowl. I see. So they had it in the glove box of their car. Huh. It, so you were smoking in the police car? Well, I was smoking out into the uh, uh, ramp. I had to get out of the car and then out of the car. And, oh. They were sheriffs from a different county, and they have no jurisdiction here. Yeah. What they'll do is they'll give you what you want. So if you want pot, they'll give you pot. If you want cigarettes, they'll give you cigarettes. They'll give you cash. They'll give you food. Just for taking part in the test. Did they ask you what you wanted? Did they give you any of those things? Basically, what happened was I smoke marijuana every single day so oh, I wasn't giving them the results that they wanted so they had to stop the test early to bring us back. Yeah, well, I mean, w when did they first come up to you? Oh, today. Today. But they've been doing this for a couple days. They've been doing it for a couple days? Yeah. How do you know that? Um, because yesterday actually a friend of mine came up to me and he was stoned off his ass and he told me what happened and I'm like, what? So I wanted to find out like, kind of what they were up to and basically what they're doing is they're trying to observe um, the certain uh, react characteristics of certain drugs so when they pull people over they know what they're looking at um, <clears throat> when you go there there's like when you first pull into the place there's like where um, it's in Richfield you went to Mindot garage what is it do you know what it was called no it's, it's a garage it was a garage it's or warehouse the airport. what they do basically is you have four cops that work with you one is uh, One's the one administering the test, one's the one recording the notes, one's witnessing and one's observing, like all the other cops. Um, and they usually have like four or five, sometimes maybe six or seven people back there that they're doing tests on, so it's a shit ton of cops. It's very intimidating, but... Is it all one big space, or is it yeah, a bunch of like, rooms? Yeah, it's like a really big indoor garage. Yep. So. so when they came to you, what did they ask you? How did, how did they come to you? Or did um, you go to them? And they, where was they it They walked over to us at the PV Plaza. Yeah, they walked over and asked us if... Uh, just asked us how we were doing and whatnot and got into the conversation of how they're doing a survey, asked if anyone wanted to participate in it. Um, and then Dosa said, yeah, sure, why not? Said They asked them what drugs they were on, if they did drugs, um, if they did things like cocaine, heroin, things like that. What kind of cops were they? 
Um, some state of troopers. some of them are state troopers, and some of them are police officers from Dakota County. Dakota County. Yeah. And many, many other counties. Many other counties. Do you remember any other counties? Uh, I don't. Shakopee was one. Shakopee. Brought you out to Richfield. What time was this? About four o'clock. What day? Today. Today? What is it? He's April twenty seventh. April twenty seventh. So they brought you back. What time? Um, about five o'clock. Five o'clock with a bunch of other people. Uh, just one other person that had gone with me. 